Hi kids! Today we're going to do another haul video. Yes, it happened again. Well, I can't say that that happened again too much. I'll tell you the story. First of all, I want to apologize. I'm not... Well, no, I don't want to apologize. Let's get that straight. I'm not apologizing. My health has not been well. Um, on Monday the 28th, I'm going in for a consultation. And on February 4th, I'm having surgery. So... I, I've been going through a lot of pain and a lot of, uh, I've just been in a lot of pain. So we'll see how things go. I haven't worn a lot of makeup. I have been doing my skincare though. I always do my skincare no matter what. Makeup, uh, yeah, I do what I can. I like wearing makeup. Sometimes I just, I haven't been able to get out of bed every day. Is what it is. I mean, that's just that's just the way it is. So we'll see how everything goes. First of all, let's start off with Scentbird. I got Prada Candy, which has caramel and musk, which is two of my favorite things. When you get um, Scentbird, they're fourteen ninety five, no shipping or anything. They come in these little tubes, which has the little product in it. Um, you can get little sleeves to put them in so you can put them in your purse and so forth. This is supposedly one month's worth of product. It is the actual real Prada candy. It is not a fake. Um, you can go to their website. I think I have a referral link down below. It's not, it's not affiliate code or anything like that. I mean... Uh, hello. <laughs> it's just a if you order from my referral link, then I think I get like a free perfume or something like that. It's no big deal. But um, I really like their products. Next, I got the AOA Studio. This is from Shop Miss A. And this is the Paw Paw Wonder Blender. It's supposed to be super soft and it's teardropped, which is my favorite shape. We'll try it. The last one I tried wasn't too good. And I also got the AOA Studio Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade in dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. That's what it looks like. It's a dollar. We'll see. A lot of their products aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. So, we'll see. Okay, this is my Sephora story. Sephora. So, on the 4th, my Sephora play box, it um, processed. And on the 11th, I got a, a notification saying, Hey, guess what? We're shipping your Sephora Play to you. And I checked it to see when it would arrive, and it said the printing label had been printed, but it had not been shipped. Okay? Or the shipping label, I mean. Okay. And it wasn't shipped, and it wasn't shipped, and it wasn't shipped. So, on the 25th, something like that. I called them up and it said after the phone call please stay on the line to do a survey. I said okay so I was on hold and it said I was the next customer in line whatever and then it flipped over to the survey and then I did the survey saying that I never talked to anyone and then it hung up on me. So I was like okay fine. So I went on the live chat on the website and I'm like dude this is what's going on. And so Margie was all like, um, well, I can give you a refund. And I'm like, no, I don't want a refund. I want my products. Now, I got all the information on what was going to be in my box. I got that my box was processed. I got that my box had a shipping label. Where's my box? She's like, well, I can give you a refund 
and 150 beauty insider points. And I'm like, you don't seem to understand. I want my products. So she went and talked to a supervisor or whatever and everything. And she sent me my products. They're not in a Sephora play box because the Sephora play boxes were out of stock. But she sent me my products. Now the subscription to the Sephora Play is like $10 with tax. It's like $10.83. So my... Oh! And then today, so I got this box. She expedited shipping, so it got here in two days. So... I'm trying to think when... Okay, so I must have complained on the 23rd, and this got here on the 25th. That's what happened, because I got it real fast. So, then, today, I check my email, and all of a sudden, my Sephora Play Box is actually on the move, and it's saying that it's going to be here on the 28th. It's like, dude. <sighs> Anyways, whatever. So this is what I got in my Sephora Play box. We'll see if I get another one. I got a Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I'm really excited to try that. I got um, the Beauty Blender Solid Pro. This is a brush cleaner. I have not tried it. I'll try it. This is a Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. It's a deta hair detangling mist. And, um, yeah, I'll try it. I really, my hair is super, super damaged. This is something I'm really anxious to try. It's the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. So, it's just a little one. But I, I really want to try that. I like the Laneige products that I've tried. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. It's just those little blister packs, like that. I've never tried anything by Bite Beauty, so this will be my first time. And then there is a Smashbox Primer Water, which I already have one of these, but I like it, so I don't mind getting another one. And then lastly, I got two of the Avon Footworks. This is the Maximum Strength Cracked Heel Cream. I got these off of Amazon. They were two for $14. So that was all the things I've gotten. The total was $42.33. I have made one return. That was the Daylogic sponges. They were um, the Daylogic sponges. They were like little teardrop sponges for your face. I went to use one. I opened it up. I went to wash it. It was hard as a rock when it was wet. I couldn't get the brush shampoo out of it. I used the Eco Tools brush shampoo. I used that on everything to clean it, and I never have any problems. This, I could not get the soap out of the sponge. The sponge was hard as rock even when it was wet. It was terrible. The other one I hadn't even bothered to open yet, so I just returned both of them. And I got $6.74 back. So my pre previous balance was $292. So year to date, my spending is a total of $236.51. Yeah, I'm hoping I have a really good empties this month. Um, anyways, so that's what I've received recently. That's what I returned recently. And hope to see you again. Um, hopefully I will be doing more videos. I was going to do some tag videos this week. And it just did not happen. Sometimes when you're in pain, things just don't happen. You know? So hopefully this empties will kind of balance things out a little bit. My goal for this year is to use more than I spend.
hopefully, hopefully. How do you like my blue nail polish? It's kind of chippy now, but my mom had it and she wasn't using it and she was just like, well, if you want to use it, go ahead. So I'm just like way into this. Anyways, um, hopefully everything gets a little bit better and I will be wearing more makeup and using more stuff. Obviously my shopping hasn't decreased any. <laughs> Anyways, if you like my video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!